Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. What I'm going to show you today is just a quick uh, engine wash on this 2004 Lexus IS300. Uh, a couple important things. I'm leaving this cover on and this cover on because there's like a valley that runs down the center of the engine in between the two cams and it looks to me like it would fill up with water if I took this cover off. And I don't want that to happen. I, I could blow it out with air, I suppose, but I'm just going to leave them on. Then if I ever do any work under these covers, then it would be a good time to clean up, clean up there. But this is just going to be a quick wash. I want to keep the water away from the alternator. And I'm not going to use any high pressure water. I'm going to put some uh, degrease around there first. I've got, uh, all right, this is purple power. I cut it 50% with water. It's just a general purpose degreaser. And then I, I got a hose, and I'm going to hose it off with some light water. So here we go. You always want to do this before you do any detailing to the outside of your car, in particular waxing, because any of this degreaser that gets on the uh, on the paint, on the outside paint, uh, it'll take the wax off. So I'm going to do a wax job on this. That's why I'm doing this engine cleaning first. Then we'll do the wax. Yeah, get a little bit up there. Get some on the engine cover. The timing belts are under there. And this is not really going to make the engine run any better, but it's going to make it look better. And I like a clean engine. I work on the engine myself. And uh, I'd rather have it clean than uh, all greasy and grimy and dirty. Everything is pretty well weatherproofed, waterproofed under the end of the engine, but not 100%. So just this part doesn't matter but when you get to the water part never use high pressure water always use just a little sprinkle of water and then you can use an air hose to blow out some of the water out of the little crevices that will get into um, and then drive it do it on a cold engine this is a cold engine right now and then uh, I'm going to use my air to blow it out and then I'm going to dry it by driving it. See, all this is sealed up pretty good. Almost there. I think that's good enough. Now what you could do actually is uh, start it up before you spray the water. Uh, I think that's optional. I think I'll just uh, yeah let's do that. I haven't done a video with, uh, with the engine running so I'll start it up. Notice how lightly I'm spraying. The engine's running just like a almost like a Gentle rain was falling. You know what I mean? It's going to steam up a little bit when it hits the exhaust headers, but they're not hot. They're just starting to get a little bit warm. And I'm going to quit this in about 10 seconds. And there, I'm done. Okay? I'm going to look and see if I've got any puddles of water anywhere. It's pretty well designed to drain out by itself. So all I'm going to do now is take it for a drive. Uh, I'm not going to videotape that, but I'm going to take it for a drive and get it, you know, fully warmed up, hot even. And uh, then I'm done. So that is... 
that's how you wash the engine. In Froggy's opinion, that's that's how you do it on most modern cars. Very light spray, some degreaser. Don't get carried away. And if you want to afterwards, you can take some, you know, armor oil, some kind of a shiny finish, and do that to the plastic. That might not, might look nice. Um, or you can just leave it. Depends on how fussy you are. Anyway, if uh, this helps you out, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. Froggy out. Okay, back from the drive, and uh, there it is. I'm not going to put any shiny stuff on there, because uh, that's just not the way I do engine uh, compartments. But if you like to, go for it. Anyway, um, this is it. Froggy out. On to something else.